What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another, and perhaps the final, Legacy Cube draft ever that's ever existed. And, uh, you know, we may do a stipulation. Uh, Trojan Rage uh, has a stipulation in the queue about drafting Shieldred and Reanimator. And uh, that's a stipulation. As we've mentioned before, like sometimes you get state people want to draft around specific cards. They're like, hey, I want you to draft an upheaval deck or draft a wildfire deck or whatever. And like, it's hard to do if you don't get the right cards. Um, so I'm going to wait until we actually open it. It also might be easier in the vintage cube, maybe. But did you see my addition to the step? I don't think so. You said a saving step for vintage cube power has. Pro I don't know. What was it? What's the addition? Is there an addition? No, Mao, two out of five stars. Dang. Just give it time. We'll get here. I like Polluted Delta. I also like Crater Hoof. Should we just, like... Should we just end on a bang? Get this Crater crater Boy? I think Blast Zone will see play for sure. I mean, it's a colorless land, right? Uh, for sure. I don't think there's any reason why it wouldn't see play. Johnny Big and Tall is nicely done. Ashy Larry is number two must-take pick. Okay, cool. Uh, Nicobola. Actually, it would be number three, right? Number one is Shouldered. Two is Nicobola's Planeswalker. Three is Ashiok. Okay. Good to know. Good to know. That makes total sense for you, Chad. I'm going to take this Crater Hoof. And then I'm going to take Woodfall Primus. <laughs> God, this is so me, dude. We I mean, could take Dragonlord Selengar. He's very, very good. We just passed a Polluted Delta. I took a Crater Hoof over a Polluted Delta. That says all you need to know about me. Oh, Ashiok will be before. Okay, so we'll just move it then. Ashiok will be number two. Which makes sense. And Nicobolus is number three. Okay. Good. I, I think the Draga Tree Speaker will come back if 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 green is going to be as underdrafted as I, I presume it will be. Man, I'm just going to take Woodfall Primus, dude. I ain't trying to be fancy here. We could take Nissa or Immortal Sun. I think we want Nissa here. The green decks are pretty notorious for having good planeswalkers like Garrix and Nissas. Other Nissas. Well, there's a Terastodon. I think we just want Windswept Heath here. I don't think we need that when we have two other eight drops. I think we're good on eight drops for now. I'll just take the Windswept Heath in case you want to splash something. What's the stip? There is none. There is none. Uh, tooth and nail. <laughs> All right, this is this is this is going well. That's a pretty easy choice. Like I said, if you get shouldered soon, a black green shell is totally cool with me. All right, you guys heard it here first. We can tooth and nail a shouldered. Wait, wait, was there a verdant catacombs in that pack? That's a solid throwback. That is a solid throwback. You got Emrakul and Ulamog in your deck? And there's a Tooth and Nail? Yeah, take that Verdant Catacombs, man. Gets you a, gets you a forest. It gets you the forest you need. Does it, though? Does it? Fauna Shaman could be decent. We saw Fauna Shaman go to town when these guys... Yeah, I like Fauna Shaman, actually. It's kind of grown on me. Um, we could take some mana, but I actually... I'm looking forward to, like, uh, Through the Breach or a Sneak Attack more than more than a white card so uh utopia sprawl probably good rattleclaw does make it easier to cast a through the breach or a uh... nikki b was probably taking over tooth and nail maybe i don't even know dude they were both pretty controversial i do like rattleclaw more than especially because we have uh crater hoof so i'll take the rattleclaw Apex Predator or Awakening Zone. I think it's just Awakening Zone. I don't love either of these, but Awakening Zone 
not terrible when you have like crater hoof again. Overgrown tomb, sure. Seas over the rainbow. Well, yeah. Wickaba, Wicka, Wickaba. I like having a Wickaba, Wickaba elder. Although, if we do get one of the red cards, having a sacred foundry, eh, I'm just gonna take the elder. So the thing is, like, I don't want to dilute our mana base with too many non, uh, non forest lands, because of the potential of Rafellos. Seder Wayfinder, Tristani, or Underrealm Lich. Probably just Tristani here. I don't care about Wayfinder. Apex Petter is basically Shieldred. What problem is? Yeah, it's rare that Nykthos is, like, good... That was somewhere over the rainbow. Man, that was a good that was a good catch there. <laughs> Copperline Gorges is okay. Is okay. Is okay. Nykthos is for suckers, Chad. Do you want to be a sucker? Oh, a last pick exclusion mage? What a deal. Uh, incubation druid. Garrick Relentless with only the head and the baby axe. Stomping Ground, which is nice because lets us search for us Windswept Heath. Still holding out hope for the good good. We can also take Jitte. So I really want... Relentless will probably come back. I don't care about druid that much. I think I'm either Jitteing or Stomping Grounding. And I think Jitte is probably better. Yeah, Jitte is very good, especially in a deck that's going to be very creature centric. Plow under. <whistles> Chat. Unfortunately, we have seen none of the uh, appropriate cards for the stipulation, so I feel I feel good about that. That we went in a, a decent direction here. I have seen no Ashiok, no Shieldred, and no Nicobolus, and no. Uh, I guess there is nothing else, but still, still. I think it's just. I think it's just plow here. I don't care about anything else in the air. Mirari's Wake is super nice. But I think Plow Under is just pretty backbreaking. It's your boy. It's your boy. Hopefully this Dragon Lord Tarka or this Acidic Slime comes back. But we are definitely... We are in for Emrakul with the Tooth and Nail, my dudes. Are we in for Kozilek too with Tooth and Nail? Hmm. These are the questions. We could also, we could also discard... Anything we don't need to uh, Fauna Shaman as well. I also like Hedron Archive. I think I'm just going to take Hedron Archive here because our ramp isn't too much. And I do want to make sure we have enough to, uh, you know, do some, de do some degeneracy. Well, Biscuits. Look who, look who it is. Look who it is. Too greedy? What's too greedy? I don't understand. Um, I probably just gonna. I don't want Treetop Village actually. Yeah, we're just gonna take battle battle ball, I guess. I'm trying to figure out if a video went live on my channel, and I'm not seeing it, which is kind of disturbing. Warm Power Stone might be better than Shaman, especially when we're trying to play Tooth and Nail and things. 
I think I like Warm Power Stone better. Well, I guess I'm just going to have to readjust all the videos. I just left a super long-winded comment on your article. That's I'm okay with it. I like long-winded comments. Thank you guys for all the comments on the article as well. I really appreciate it. Um, Pelucranos is actually fine. I like Plateau because, again, we can get it with Windswept Heath. I think it, I think Plateau is actually fine here. I mean, we have an Emrakul. I think we're still leaning towards uh, crossing our fingers for Sneak Attack or Through the Breach. Chris, what's going on, buddy? Always a pleasure. Always a pleasure. Sun Petal Grove? There's nothing in this pack for us. We'll take the Sun Petal Grove. Stomping Ground came back. So did the Garrick Relentless. I like Garrick Relentless because... Uh, it is a, it's a kind of removal for... Um, Yeah, we also have Stomping Ground, but we have no red cards yet. I think it's just Garrick Relentless. The card will definitely play. Wow, the Mirari's Wake did come back. Now I'm glad we took that Sun Petal Grove. Wow, the Dragon Lord's Harka came back as well. Okie dokie. We'll take Boat. Huh. Yeah, Garrick gives you a way to deal with creatures that otherwise you would not be able to deal with. And it's pretty nice. I've always had good good results with Garrick. <laughs> the Shieldred comes back. It's just insulting now. Now it's just sad. Oh, Thren came back. That's nice. I mean, we could just play Thren realistically. We could also play Tristani. Like, there's a bunch of stuff that we could just play here. Unfortunately, I don't think we saw any reanimator cards for the, the Shieldred. Through the Breach. That's what we're looking for. Oh, God, I have to pass a Consecrated Sphinx? I guess we'll take Through the Breach because it's very, very good with this deck. Here comes Ashiok. Ashiok incoming. So now we're passing the Shieldred Ashiok Consecrated Sphinx deck. You ready? 100% in this pack. It was not. I feel better now. Thank goodness. I'll probably want Lotus Cobra here. It's another creature that wears a jet. We don't actually have a ton of uh, two and one drops. Oh, Chad, I'm, I'm just I'm just joking now. I think I, I know we're good. I appreciate it. Uh, I'll put you here. Come on, sneaky boys. <sighs> not a birthing pod deck. Everyone, there's always someone who's like, oh, birthing pod. And I'm like, buddy, we have no five drops. We have no six drops. We have one four drop, one three drop, rather. Yeah, there he is. There's the guy. Elk Tear is always willing to be the guy. Uh, we'll take this Phyrexian Metamorph. I'm the guy. That's true. That's a, that's a good point. Uh, still no sneak attack? Wow, this is just rude. Nahiri actually seems pretty decent. I mean, we have Sun Petal, Copper Line, Plateau. It's rough to cast a double. Oh, we just got Primeval Tide. Never mind, I'm an idiot. I That's not even, that wasn't even close. And I, I, made, it, I made it seem like it was close and it wasn't close. That was awkward. Ugh. I was like, ooh, Nahiri. Oh, there's a Primeval Titan in the pack. Got it. Uh, I think this is either Duplicate or Jade Light Ranger. Ooh. Oh, wow. That was... We actually have 13 creatures. I don't think we need Duplicate. I don't care about Xenagos. I'm not really interested. In, like, we only have three red sources. I'm not really interested in having another red red card in the deck when we don't need it. I like Ranger here. It, hit, it, hit, it hits lands. It wears... Ooh, uh, Devoted Druid is nice. It hits lands. It wears a Jitte. I'm going to take out the Thrun for now. Oh, I like a Rexage. Oh, I like a Chromatic Lantern and a Domri as well. Dang, this pack is nice. 
Reclamation saves. We already have a Wicker Bow Elder and a Woodfall Primus and... And... I don't know if we're going to play Wake or not. I don't think I care about Lantern. I'll just take the Rex Age. I like having the Rex Age. You can also get it with a Fauna Shaman. Oh, Thrun does wear a Jitte better than any of those losers. Any of those losers. Search for That's a late search for Look, we got an Exhum for our Shielded. Just kidding. Yeah, search is good. Uh -huh. Wow, Finhorn Elves? Nice. Nice. Like, we just don't need white if we're not playing this. Um, I guess we'll take Mind Slaver. I don't love it, but it's... What are you going to do? I counted three reanimate spells in the third pack. I, I saw... I also saw Animate Dead and Unbarrel Rites. Brontodon is fine. Nahiri came back? Alright. Well, I like this through the breach in the deck. Wow, Xenagos came back too. Wow, Relic Seeker is last, second to last pick? That's pretty impressive. I feel like this is our deck and we make... Uh, and we um, just play 16 lands. Like, we have Dota Druid, Lewis Co, Rattle Claw, Findhorn, Search for Tomorrow... Nissa Awakening Zone. We have a lot of. I feel like I had a good pod deck once. Plateau, Copper Line, probably Treetop here. I think Wicker. Actually, Jade Light Reclamation Sage might be better than than Wicker Bow Elder, because Wicker Bow actually costs five mana to do what Jade Light do, or uh, what Reclamation Sage does for three. Plus, if they go like turn three, Warm Power Stone or just Basalt Monolith, you're gonna give them activations off of it. You don't like Jitte here? Interesting. I mean, Jitte makes all of your creatures better. Um, can add one mountain because we can search for it. And yeah, this seems good. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 16. Oh man, I hope I get to a point where I can through the Breach Emrakul and also equip a Jitte to him. That's where I want to be. Yeah, I don't really feel like we need we need Mirari's Wake. I feel like once we hit Mirari's Wake, we're already way ahead. Um, I'm going to keep this hand. It's kind of slow, but turn two Cobra gives us four mana on turn three. Uh, Jitte is banned in like certain formats in paper, but it's not banned on Magic Online if you're not playing those formats. This is Legacy Cube. It's in the Legacy Cube. But if you think, if you make a statement like Jitte is banned in paper but not in MTGO, like that's um, making that statement by itself kind of indicates that you might not be familiar with how things like that work. So, uh, Lodi McCobry. We're in the mirror match, boys. Lotes McCoops. <laughs> That's why. Well, all right. So, um, it's hard. It's hard to, uh, it's hard to answer the question without your level of without knowing your level of familiarity like where I need because I don't know where to start basically um, this is an easy attack I will easily trade with you and I didn't think you would because like there's different formats like paper formats like uh, they're, the main paper formats are vintage legacy modern standard and then draft right and oh well, that's pretty sad Goodbye, treetop. It's been nice. Hope you find you. Paradise. We can discard this. And so the formats, like those formats are adequate, accurately represented on Magic Online as well. 
So in the formats it's banned in paper, it's also going to be banned on Magic Online. In the formats it's legal in Magic Online, it's or in paper it's also going to be legal on Magic Online. So they're they they are uh, they are symmetrical in that way. But cube is different. Cube is like so. I just like don't want to get rid of this. What do I even get? We have one, two, three. We have four mana. I guess we can get Jade Light Ranger here. I kind of like that. Or we can get Rattleclaw, but then we don't have anything to like flip with it. Yeah, I'll just get Jade Light Ranger. Honesty stream. Okay, here's my question, Bruce. Why do we fall? So we can get back up. That's not why we fall. That's a stupid reason. All right, so one, two, three. We'll have five mana next turn. We ain't getting no prime time. I mean, prime time is always good, really. Oh, Rex Sage, eh, graveyard. Hedron Archive, yeah, graveyard. Oh, Metamorph could have been good too. I would have probably copied Acidic Slime and killed their blue source, but all right, Deep Shadow, Deep Shadow. That elf is under deep shadow. Oh, they're just going to shuffle it away. Dang it. Now I wish I got Rex Sage. Am I right? Of course you're right. Now it's in the trash can. I guess we can still get Metamorph. Copy Acidic Slime. Kill this idiot. Alternatively, we can just draw only lands as well. 16 lands, guys. Wrote it down for no raisins. That's sad. Uh, nope, not gonna add that. I'm just gonna pass here and allow you to, uh... One, two, three, four, five... Get something... Get, draw land instead. Carnage Tyrant. Biogenic Ooze. Yeah, no, no shit. Four, five, so we have six mana this turn. So let's just top deck a Primeval Titan. Is that a thing we can do? No. Oh, no. Well, Fondashaman's doing some work here, for sure. Goodbye, Mary. It's been nice. Hope you find your paradise. It's just. Atarka's gonna be hard to. Atarka ain't gonna save anybody. If we play Atarka next turn, they're gonna have 3 3 3 3 3 3 2 4 7 6. Like, we can block it, but. We're going to have land. We're going to have one, two, three, four, five, six. We're going to have seven mana next turn. Well, at least we have an answer to Carnage Tyrant. So they're going to draw Biogenic Ooze. You know what to ooze. Goodbye, Toby. Yep, that's pretty good. Well, isn't that sad? Five, six, seven. Seven Manuskis. Seven Manuskis. Let's get Primeval Titan here, huh? Discard Woodfall Primus for Primeval Titan? That seems bad. 
but I guess it's actually fine. No more, Mr. Prime Time. No more, Mr. He 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 he. You guys know that song? That's a little Alice Cooper. It doesn't say prime. He doesn't say prime time though. Oh god, if they're like last cards, like mana leak, I would cry. You would see the tears stream down my face. Nope. And okay. And a nope. So this blocks here, and this blocks any ooze they have, so that's pretty okay. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven mana. So we can cast anything we draw other than Emrakul right now. And if we threw the Breach, that sucks because we have no creatures, but it turns any future creature into an Emrakul. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. They have seven mana. If they go another green for one, two, three, four, five. Yep, they can actually make two oozes now. Or they can just play Crater Hoof. Because they never don't have it. Maybe I do want Marari's Wake. <laughs> Well, I just figure if uh, they have one card in hand and we're about to stabilize that the one card is always going to be Crater Hoof. And so far, I'm at 100%. So, you know, feels good. Oh, boy. 41, 16 lands? I'm okay with it. Yeah, I don't hate it. I actually don't hate Sky Sovereign, but... <laughs> Why didn't you block? Yeah. A valid question. A valid question. Did they just... My phone crashed. Did they just let us win this time? Yeah. Yeah, they did. I'm going to take out the Plow Under, actually. I don't think that's great with... Uh, against the mono green deck that is ramping out their things. Maybe we do want a boat here. I'll just submit with a boat. I don't even care. I don't even care. What are you going to do about it? Nothing. Goodbye, Toby. Goodbye, Toby. I'm tempted to take out the, the Rex Sage. We only saw... I think we only saw... Um, Yeah, my problem is like then they just play opposition and we're like, well, we're boned. Yeah, I'm going to keep this hand. It's ambitious, but any one land lets us play Hedron Archive. And we have mana, so... If we hit any two or three drop, we're good. And then if we hit one land, we're good, so... That Draga Tree Speaker never came back. 
And our opponent probably took it. Oh boy. Oh boy. Maybe you start playing the Pokemon TCG like me. I'm also good at calling cards of my opponents. <laughs> yeah, well. I'm good at calling them in the wrong way. Oh, you got that card that's going to kill me? Oh, you do. Okay, that's cool. Thanks. Good game. It's not ideal. Is it weird to watch these tiny hands rubbing rubbing themselves like this? This is weird. Is that is that strange? Who even who can even tell, you know? I'm gonna be honest, I'm tempted to to equip and then attack. But we can also just play Awakening Zone. But then, like, if they have Acidic Slime... Ugh. Yeah, we're gonna do this. This is just better on every level. Oh, yeah, block. Give me that blocks. Any land, we just get to play Awakening Zone again. And because this still has a counter, we get to... Uh, Excuse me while my tiny hands slip into something a bit. How nice. You ever wake up in the morning and you're just like, sometimes it's not meant to be. Wow, and you get to draw a card. Holy shit. Jesus. Someone needs to go play the lottery. Oh, cool. Alright, well, that's fair. Bold strategy. It's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for him. Alright, well, got to eat a bird, I guess. That was very nice of them. Hey, you know what? Let me get you one more value out of this, out of this GTA. Oh, we just played this and they just literally have, oh my god. Everything in our hand, it just dies. Like, Hedron Archive Awakenings and they all die to this Trigon Predator. Like, we have nothing to do other than this. Like, we have a 7 drop and then like, yeah, make sure you let me know that I punted. Make sure you do that. That's a, that's a fun command. That's, that's good. Yeah, make sure you guys know. That's good. Good times. Yeah, just keep it in your hand while you slowly died. Hi, <laughs> Frank. I think playing the Awakening Zone might have been a mistake. You might be right. Yep, we're having a good time. Did I say good time? Actually, I meant the other thing. What's the opposite? What's the opposite of that? Um, a shit time. That's what we're having. Oh, we could have played Garrick Relentless and killed one of their guys. And I think it's going to be a bad, bad time.
you guys should definitely head on over to my YouTube channel if you have not done so and give me a subscribe because uh, I upload videos twice a day. So head over there and subscribe to that channel. If you guys are watching this on YouTube, slam those like and subscribe buttons. What are you waiting for? Um, oh God. What's even happening? This hand's bad. Uh, this hand's good. We'll get rid of this guy. Everything else is very, very nice. This is very nice. So if we hit a land, we can play either one of these. Probably this into this and then hit another land. Yeah, I like that. Oh, communication inclusion is good. That is a solid reason. Well, biscuits. I don't think it's going to be a long, long time. What do you got here? Oh, a little Seder Wayfinder, huh? Oh, their name is Lettuce Lettuce, which is actually a great name. So, Baloth, Court of Calling, Fertile Ground. So, they're basically another mono green deck. Just mono greens all day. Yep. Well, that was probably too good to be true, I guess. So, we're going to play Lotus Kobroski. Treetop Village, and then we're just going to waste the mana. What a nightmare. So one, two, three. If we hit a land, we have five mana. So we could technically go... Oh, boy. Well, they played a forest first, so that's nice. So now we get a chance to draw Rexage off the top, maybe, before they overwhelm us. close I feel like that's pretty close actually one two three we play Nissa we get a land we play the land we get two mana which doesn't let us do anything else unfortunately even if we hit uh, I guess we have if we hit a land if we hit through the breach one two three we can go one two get a land with Nissa play the forest, we have one, two, three, and then the fourth land, fourth mana. So yeah, we're still a little bit away from this guy. Yep, that was cool. I had a good time when you did that. <sighs> it's like a Vietnam flashback, but for somebody that was never in Vietnam and probably just used that terminology too loosely. But basically the same thing. Oh, good. 6-10. That's a 6-10, good buddy. Um, uh, this guarantees us a land. This does not. But this could get us two lands, which is pretty strong. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Yeah. Blah, 1, 2, 3. Blah. Just, just give me Windswept Heath and regular land. If we do that, I think we can do fine next turn. Okay, well, two regular lands, I guess. Still fine. One, two, three, four, five, six. We're one man away from tooth and nailing next turn. Yikes. I think we're just dead. This has been a pretty uneventful final cube draft, unfortunately. I thought I thought we got everything we wanted, but I think a lot of our uh Oh, look at that. I go to I had a warm power stone myself, you know. You know how many more lands? This is where, like, joke's on you. Here's a fetch land, idiot. And I'm like, oh no. A fetch land. Does this thing have trample? Doesn't look like it. Wait, you're not attacking with this? Wait, what? What's happening right now? I'll take four. What just happened? One, two, three, four, five. What pump is there? Is there pumping? There's no pump in this format, right? 
What's even happening right now? Also, if you guys are watching on Twitch, definitely uh, consider subscribing or hitting that follow button up above. Both of those are super nice and helpful. All out of green. Just kidding. It doesn't do anything. Ha ha ha. Oh, I guess we could have actually... Could we have activated Treetop Village there? I don't... Three, four, five, six, seven, and like triple block? That seems bad. I guess there is Dismember. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We can Tooth and Nail next turn. And put a Crater Hoof into play, but I'm sure they're just going to Crater Hoof themselves here or something. Gilded Lotus, all right. Okay. Not, I ain't afraid of no ghosts. Why would he say that? That's not even a ghost. That doesn't even make any sense. Don't care about that. All right. Come on. We're good. All right. Burn for two. Seems good. We have one shot. You only get one shot. That's what the old Emrakul says. I'm going to chump block here because I don't want to die to... Okay, well... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Of course, we have one creature in hand. I mean, it's pretty good, though. It's a good one. If only we could have drawn a creature there instead. Uh, put two creatures onto the battle hand. One, two, three, four, five, six. Just this one. Just you wait. Alright, well, we got a blocker. I don't know what the green-black deck can do against an Emrakul. Ravidus Chupacabra. <laughs> just take down Emrakul. Oh, they're just going to be Crater Hoof again. Am I just getting Crater Hoof twice, 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 twice? Wow, that's a good one. Wait, what? Oh, they didn't know about this. Oh, that's interesting. So we're at four. We have to deal with three things. If we can attack this, they probably just sacrifice it. Get rid of two lands. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then they have... We're, I feel like we're so close here. We could also play this just to kill a beast. And then they have two beasts and we can block both of them. I guess we could also just make a beast and block that and block the beast. Oh, it has trample though? Why does it have trample? This is not the right beast token. That does not have trample. Create a 3-3 black beast token with death touch. That does not have trample. I actually have to attack Garrick here. Um, if we attack their face, they might not sack the gear. <laughs> and then I really don't want them to actually uh, figure out the the Emrakul play. Sacrifice is one, two. They might not even sacrifice the Garrick that we're attacking. kept the Garrick. Oh, that's amazing. We got seven permanents out of it. Oh, that's insane. Oh, boy. That's really good. Wow, that worked out really well for us. That Garrick was that Garrick was misutilized two times. 
Although if they kill Nissa, we're dead. So that's fine. We actually we put one two on top. One two three four five six. Oh wow, that's game. Wow, that's insane. 15, 16, 17, 18, they would go to one, but they would have no permanence because we'd plow under two lands and they have exactly six. I have no idea how we won that game <laughs> other than gross misconduct. Um, I kind of want Wickaba Elder because we did see a bunch of stuff. We saw Worn Power Stone. We saw um, Gilded Lotus and we saw the other thing, the third thing, the thousand thing. Um, necromancy. So, man. Yeah, I don't like plow under here. I think it's pretty bad. Vraska Relic Seeker is also not terrible when we have Overgrown Tomb. I think we're probably good like this. What do we take out? Oh, we took out Plow Under for the work of Bottler. Yeah, this is fine. What Garrick do they have? Apex Predator. Apex Predator. Don't stop cubing. What should I do the entire weekend? Talk to my girlfriend. Well, here's the thing. I don't have a choice. The cube ends tomorrow. And tomorrow I'm also leaving to go pre-release. So that seems pretty sweet. I've seen you alt that Garrick and Crater Hoof the same turn. I did not enjoy it. Really? Was it against you? Oh, it was against you, wasn't it, Zaxor? That was pretty good times. I think we both had fun, right? I don't know what's going on. We submitted our deck, right? Okay, good. Just making sure. Oh, this hand is great. This is exactly what we're looking for. We're only we're in ground round match two, right? I have no idea how we won that that game. We had no no we had no business winning that game. I mean, to be fair, Emrakul's pretty confusing. I, I consistently have people being like, wow, Magic Online's bug. You can hit Emrakul with an Oblivion Ring. Like, there, that happens regularly. Emrakul's wording, the, the distinction between spells, colored spells, and colored abilities is very subtle. It's, it's not super, it's not a very obvious distinction. Me too, buddy. Me too. Boom, 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 boom. Blow it up. Sometimes you just gotta sing the Seinfeld song, you know? What gets us there the fastest? We're gonna play this. If we play... Oh, we could have played Cobra Druid. God, that's so... I'm so stupid. I'm so bad at this game. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. I mean, Druid still gets us there next turn, but it's still bad. That's so stupid. I could have just played both of these. I'm terrible. I'm the worst Magic player that's ever played Magic. We go Lotus Cobra, play your land, add a green, play Devoted Druid. See? Now we're now we're done. This is Magic's hard, man. Uh, 
Oh, that was rude. Okay, now we're not going to make the same mistake twice. Play you. Add a green. Play Nissa. Get a forest. All right, seems good. One, two, three, four, five. Well, ultimate pricing a devoted druid is not the worst. We should be able to play Primeval Titan next turn. If they don't kill Lotus Cobra. Could have also played Hedron Archive instead of both of these. Huh. Well, that's desperation. That's no good. Uh, let's play this guy. Wow, necromancy on a devoted druid. What does that mean? Primeval 2Ds. Let's get a treetop and a copper line gorge so I don't draw those. Um, green, okay, green. I'm just going to suspend this now. Get in there, Nissa. Do your job. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Actually, now I'm regretting this because next turn we could have played this and flipped her if we just cast it. I guess if we just cast it, then we couldn't actually, we couldn't play this, so never mind. I'm sorry, that felt rude. You're great. I do, I do what I can. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight mana. All right, so it's not, El we're not talking Eldrazi levels here. Green Sun for five? Cord? Cord for five? Okay. Or what do we Green Sun for seven, I guess? It's just Acidic Slime to get rid of Treetop? That doesn't seem great. Thunder my Hulkite. Okay. That's fine. That's a cute little clock. But alas, we have like a million damage on the board right now. Land? Do me a land. Alright. So we get to flip Nissa. We should have attacked first, I guess. God, I'm so bad at this game. We're just throwing away. We're just hemorrhaging damage. Uh, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. We could have put them to 2. Oh, attacking, yeah, attacking first wouldn't have done anything because we would have actually triggered off of, off of Primeval Titan. You're right. You're right. I'm just going to make a legendary because they're, they could just kill her anyway. So I think having a, I think a 4-5 is just likely better than what's ever on top. I don't think that's going to do it. And they agree. All right, so we have won the match, surprisingly. Yeah, I'm just at a point where I'm like being uh, unnecessarily hard on myself. <laughs> so.
Um, it's a little slow, but I can keep this hand. I think this is fine. We're on the play. That's good. It's a turn four plow under, which is actually still pretty good on the play. Like, they'll have four lands. We get to nug two of them. Or we can just play Primeval Titan on five. Cube is some Galaxy Brain magic. That's actually 100% true. Oh, no. Oh, no. End of turn, discard a card with my Unus Prowler, and I will reanimate the card that I discarded with my Unus Prowler. Hmm. One, two. We have five mana. One, two. So we can play Nissa into Lotus Co. I think we're just plowing under here. I do kind of like Nissa and the Lotus Cobra when they have nothing going on, but I really like putting them on one land as well. Am I accepting steps? Not currently, just because uh, this is probably going to be my last cube draft. Unfortunately, otherwise I would love to. Believe me, I would love to take money and, and support, but... Mm, is that a warm power stone? It is a warm power stone. So warm. Such power stone. So we can go one, two, Lotus Cobra. One, two, three, four. We'll have five mana. No, I don't like that. I'm just going to hope for no counter spell, I guess. Oh. Buttery boys. I always get the lands that come into play tapped, so I don't have to draw lands that come into play tapped, and that feels good. So now we know they have a swamp in hand. Let's see if they play it. One, two, three, four, five, six. We have eight mana. We can just drag a lot of kill both of these things. That seems good. I'm no expert, guys, but that feels good. Uh, no blocks. And they did nothing. Oh boy. Um, one, two, three, four. That still leaves with a four mana. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. Let's play Nissa here. We play Lotus Cobra too. One, two, Lotus Cobra. One, two, three, four, five. No. Wait, yes, right? Yeah, because we need Lotus Cobra and then we just have the four for the Jitte. Yeah, that seems fine. say no to these guys I 
That's a lot of mana, guys. Uh, op opponent only has three lands because we played a card called Plow Under, my dude. Uh, yeah, you can stay on top. That's fine. We have 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 mana on board. This is 13, 14 mana. Seems good. We're keeping this up. If they play like Sower, we want to be able to kill the Sower and not necessarily, I don't care about, I don't care about Uma's Prowler here. However, if they do attack with this... Oh, wow, both, huh? Hmm. I mean, even if they kill our board, like, we're still way ahead with a Planeswalker and a... Treetop Village and a Dragon Lord Tarka in hand if they go Damnation here. We also have a Jete we can equip to this Treetop Village next turn. What's the plan, Stan? What's it gonna be? Nothing? Yikes. Yikes. Six, seven, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty, forty, fifteen. Yeah, we're good. I mean, we can gain a million life here too. One, two, three, four. We could have also metamorphed on the Jitte. No, it's legendary. I'm, I lied. I made I, I made that up. Guess that farmer's magic broke my asshole? Is he saying asshole? <laughs> I'll be the power stone, it ramps you. Oh, this is good. Um, let's put Gristlebrand and Choops in one pile and then Dark Ritual Swamp Chart of course in the other having Metamorph in case they do have a way to get Gristlebrand back they could also draw these put these in the trash can and have like a reanimate spell for this guy which could be great but they're at 7 so they can't actually gain life And that's what they did. Doo, 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 doo. I'm gonna kill this now. I mean, there's very real. We can like if they get Gristle Brand back, we can very really, very really copy their Gristle Brand, and then kill it 
with a primeval titan that gets plus six plus six Thank you. Little Scoochie, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Welcome back. Four months in a row. Really appreciate it. All right, one down. We know you have chart, and you played the swamp. Chard. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Slime, 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 gars. That's good. That guy's good. You're gonna steal. You're gonna steal Primey McMimey. All right. Uh, one dragon lord is gonna kill another dragon lord, and then the game is gonna end in spectacular fashion. Hope you guys are ready. I want you to be ready. Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Read! Oh, he did. One, two, put it on you. Equip to this little Cobra boy. Okay, we did it. Um, alright, so they have a bunch of... It looks like they got some graveyard shenanigans. We're actually good. Like, we didn't actually see a ton, so. Hey, a mage could be good. I don't think we don't have an easy way to splash it, unfortunately. Pleasure with prime time. I got. I mean, it's an option. It's not. It's not not an option. But like, we didn't actually see anything. We didn't see if they have reanimate, exhum, animate dead. Um, I like Metamorph in this matchup. I just want to throw the Breach Emrakul one time in this in this draft. I don't think that's impossible. We're also one one and up a game, so surprisingly better than uh, than our initial round. Oh, okay. Well, this isn't going to be the hand that does it. How lucky we are to be alive right now. This is it. This is it, boys. Lotus Cobra Windswept Heath. Oh, yes. I will keep this hand. So this is turn one, Finhorn Elf, turn two, Cobra into Jit. And then turn three, like, you name it, dude. Turn three, seven drop. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's how, uh... 
Look around, look around, and I'm lucky. Yeah, that's a good song. This is one of my favorite parts of watching streams on Twitch because the usernames and people who love to argue and antagonize streamers, you get to hear streamers in serious say sentences like, I don't care if you think it was a punt, donkey punch victory. I think it was the right play. <laughs> oh, man. Listen, shitlord92, I don't care if you think you're right. Oh, I mulliganed. I have to put a card on the bottom. That's what I'm waiting for. They're waiting for me. All right, we'll put Rex Sage down there for now. Oh my god. I always forget, dude. I was like, what are we waiting for? Does he have a really hard choice here? You guys are terrible. You guys are the worst. Alright, we're gonna go Cobra. This guy. Say yes. This one. Jate. that so next turn we have one two three four five six oh that's not we're not there yet we only have six. Oh, i guess we can play garrick and equip wow that's good farmer's equipment again <laughs> <coughs> you're being very farmist right now You're being a real pharmacist right now. I mean, this is where they go discard Gristlebrand and kill us, right? I mean... And Peggy. <laughs> uh... Here we go. There we go. Oh god, they're still in damage. They're not even like... This is like... God, they're so excited. It's bad. Oh, that's fine. It's okay, we good. It's okay, we good. We did it. It's okay. It's all good. So what we can do, we play this. We get three mana off this. Four, five, six... We can play Garrick, shoot Lily. Oh, yeah, we're doing that. We're doing that. Faux show. Green. Crack. Green. Okay. Yes. Green. Garuk. Kill you. Flip you. kill you instantly I don't want you to have any like recurring nightmare shenanigans I don't know if you guys knew this that was that's what's known as a good turn I mean if they get battle sphere back we have one we have four mana any land gives us six mana so I mean the problem is if they get battle sphere back it's pretty rough for us We're not getting Battlesphere back anymore, guys. We're getting nothing. Although Exhum is no longer an option <laughs> for them, so. Oh, 
Doctor, doctor, give me the news. I got a bad case of attacking with these creatures. Um, I'm just gonna keep on, keep on rolling. Wolf is black. Death touch. Okay, that's correct. I like this wolf art though. That's a sweet wolf token. All right, well, I'm just gonna pass here. You got some time. I have a bad case of crater hoofs. Boom, 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 boom. I mean, we're at a point where like we can almost shoot all of the battle sphere tokens. I should have put this on the battle the on the wolf. I think. They only have two cards, which is okay. I'm okay with that. <laughs> no random trample on the wolf. That wolf don't trample? <laughs> Typical. Typical wizards favoring beasts. Unbelievable. Un... Uh-oh. Getting back Liliana for three and killing Lotus Cobra. Uh, I'm just going to plus Lotus Cobra twice. That is okay. Oh, no. Oh, we can't do it, though. Dang. Butter my biscuits. Oh, buttery biscuits. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. That would be insane if we could do that right now. Okay. Uh, big wolf. I make big wolf. I make another wolf. Okay, so we have we need one more um one more land that we can plow under, which should be pretty back breaking. Yeah, that was the old wolf they used to have. For those watching at home. This was the wolf they used to have. Uh yeah, that's pretty good. This is nice because they can sack three tokens and get something else back, but we're going to try to kill them. <clears throat> yeah, the Michael Scott cringy mode is one of my one of my favorites for sure. It just has it has so many applications. All right. Oh, that'll do. Oh, that'll do, boys. Boys, oh, 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 oh. um. Okay, so let's play this. Yes, green. Two, three, four, five. Plow under on these guys. Ooh, that's no good. The three dots. This is like a turn eight. This is a turn six plow under. That's not even threatening. Plow under is not a a fun magic card. Guess I am more of a city kind of person. <laughs> oh, we're having a good time. I'm a fan of this opponent. This is a fair a fair attack because we can actually kill all four of the tokens and also make a another token to block the battle sphere, so. I 
I do want to kill these because I don't want them to get anything back with uh, Dread Return. Not like there's anything in there, but... Also, if you guys are uh, interested in supporting the stream in other ways while also getting things that you're going to use anyway, definitely check out MeUndies.com slash Frank You'll get 15% off along with free shipping and free returns. And they are some of the most comfortable micromodal underwear you could ever ask for. Uh, and tons of tons of people in the chat and uh, subscribers and followers of the stream have picked them up and have vouched for them. They are very, very comfortable. MeUndies.com slash Frank And it's good times. One, two, three, four, five. This is seven. Yeah, we're just going to play it. I mean, if we hit any land next turn, it's pretty sweet. Metamorph. Metamorph can copy Battle Sphere, and that seems pretty good. What's the alt on this, Garrick? Uh, create a, it's a uh, plus X plus X for X the number of creature cards in your graveyard, so right now it'd be plus one plus one. Not, not super impressive. Don't forget plus one plus one and trample. Well, the tokens already have the one one wolf tokens already have trample, so that ain't even a big deal. So next turn is their first new card in a long time. Let's get some damage in there. Oh, we can search our library for something. That seems pretty good. Um, well, we only have one, two, three, four, five, six lands. We could just get a Rex Sage and kill this guy. Oh, that seems real good. Everybody likes that. Oh, I'm just going to get Primeval Titan. <laughs> it's, it's, uh, it's whatever. I guess we could have done it again, got Primeval Titan next turn, played the Rex Sage this turn to kill this. I don't know. I just work here, guys. That's Primeval Titan. Because if they counter this, actually, I might be tempted to use Garrick's ultimate because then it's two, plus two, plus two for everybody, which actually should be lethal, I would imagine. <clears throat> oh, we get to flip this Nissa. That's pretty cool. Uh, okay. I'm going to say no here. Actually, we'll say yes. We don't know what we're going to draw off of the, off of the Nissa, so... Is another land. Uh, yes, I guess again. So now I have four mana. So now we can actually sack this guy. We can get Rex Sage cast for free. I feel like we're in good shape here. It's hard to say, though. Doomblade. Doomblade. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Should be lethal. I just want to say good. Oh, I hate that so much. 
Can I return to the game? All right. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. You can check me out on Twitch, on Patreon, on YouTube, on meundies.com slash Frank Lepore for 15% off along with free shipping and free returns. And also check out Mana Traders. You will get 20% off your first three months of any subscription for uh, digital Magic Online cards if you want to borrow those or uh, physical paper cards if you want to rent decks for events. You can check out the link and the promo code in my description below. And uh, you can also check out an article that just went live today on CoolStuffInc.com. It is about War of the Spark cards and uh, some of my modern standouts for that. So definitely check that out. And if you're on CoolStuffInc.com and you want to uh, make any purchases, you get 5% off with promo code FRANK5. So check that out. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. I will see you guys next time.